<coughs> Hello, everybody. Tonight, as you can see, we've got this big old gigantic thing here full in front of us. Full of plastic. This can only mean one thing, something I have not ever done before. <coughs> in a video, that is. We are dipping tubes tonight. And this way, it will be a two-part video because there's one I've already done. And as you can tell, I need to take care of this, which that will be in the video tomorrow. I will uh, be doing these, and <clears throat> excuse me. Hopefully, you'll be able to see something. I don't know exactly what all you're gonna be able to see in this video, to be honest, because this thing is so big, and but it's what I've got to use to make my tubes with. <clears throat> And this is the first time I've ever done a video doing making my tubes, but the guy who wanted these asked me if I could do a video for him, so I'm going to. <clears throat> I'm just stirred it up. This is my new stir stick I just got. That end is good up to 500 and some degrees, I think it said, when I bought it, so it shouldn't have any problem with this at all. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I dip the body part 10 times before I come up and shoot the uh, the other uh shoot, listen me shooting it dip for the other end now, i've got to get up close so i don't know what you're going to see from this and there's one i'm not going to clean them all out y'all can come out if you want to i won't come out loud we'll say i do count them to myself <coughs> <coughs> Doing a couple things at one time, I guess, is doing this for the first time with this video on my chest is a little bit hard to do. Uh, and I can't stand up and do it because they hang up right off the top of my head, so. We get and let all the, well, not every bit, because we got to keep it going, but yeah. And I'll show you what we do with this here in just a minute with my scissors there. <clears throat> these are pearl with black flake now like I said this is the very first time I've ever done a video of all my videos I've never done the tubes yet so hope you enjoy this just gets my shoulders tiresome is all from dipping them you can buy the buy injectors for them, but I just haven't got any yet. Okay, do one more dip here. I think that's changed. I lost count, to be honest. <coughs> what in the world? I got a frog in my throat or something. There's one complete dip. I do this three times, sorry. I didn't tell you that part, did I? I do this three times. And three. Okay. Now we let all of everything run off of this that's going to. Now. Hmm. I think I might should have dipped it a couple more times, but that's okay. We have three. I have three of these, so I can do. <clears throat> After dipping all three, I, can do, I do 12 at a time, so. This actually makes 16 since I've got the other two above my head. Okay, now see how here they don't, they want to stop? That's when we come up and cut it, and cut it, cut, and cut. Then hang them up over here over my head and pull down the next one. Here it is <clears throat> on the tube there. And these little points here, right there, these little points, I will cut off tomorrow but right, while I trim. But right now, we got to put these down and let them, <coughs> excuse me, let them uh, finish curing and everything. And I just pinch it up here and so gently pull it down. Very good. And then just pull it back up, like so. There it is. There it hangs. And hang the weight down right over here. Look at these other ones here. No, actually, that's about the right size. Well, these are all right anyway, so. 
there's that one off. Okay. And I'm gonna should have plenty of, to do more than what I really need, so hopefully I'll have enough to maybe sell a couple bags if somebody wants some. That will be good. Okay, here's the last one of this one right here. Pull it down. Injecting them is a whole lot better. The tail's already cut when you inject them and everything, so that'll be at a different date. I don't have any those injectors right now, so we'll leave it sitting there. Give this a good stir. Stir it up real good. This right here is actually an asparagus steamer. I was looked and looked and looked for something and something that wouldn't waste too much plastic. And actually, I do pour this out into my my two cup thing here, and then I'll pour something else, probably flukes out of it. I'm not sure. Or I might even do some uh, straight tail dying shads and inject them. I'm not sure what I will do yet. I'll probably think of it after when I get there. <laughs> when I get time to doing it. Okay. Like I said, this will be a two-part video. First part will be going up tonight after I get done. During the middle of the night, it'll be up and ready to be aired tomorrow. Well, Tuesday. It'll be up Tuesday, published Tuesday. I'll, be, I'll upload it tonight when I go to bed. And then it'll be uploaded tomorrow. So, and there's one. Yeah, I know I dipped that in a little bit quicker. I don't normally dip quite that fast. And this is actually how I got burnt when I got burnt a couple years ago. But there was just small ones and I used them in my two cups. So I definitely wouldn't want to spill this bad boy. It's definitely got more than two cups of plastic in it. And even though I've got pants on now, instead of having shorts, this would still burn the daylights out of me. Ten. Okay. And now we'll do the two to three dips complete up to where it needs to go to. One. Okay. And then there's two. I've got eight pouring. I've done eight more, so that's 16. I've got four pairs. So that's, that'll make 20 on the last one I've got. So that's that's one whole bag already. Oh, shoot. I think that was three. I just went four, but oh, well. That won't hurt nothing, really. Okay. Like I said a minute ago, we just wait now for this to quit dripping off. Or running off, I should say. Now it's starting to drip off. That's good. We're getting closer to it being done. There's that one. That one. That one. And that one. Okay. I hang out up here above my head again, like I said. And now the last one. Here it is. These are, like I said, this is all I had poured before I turned the recording, so. There's that one. This gives me 12 over there laying on the table. And 
then the last one here. And to give them a time to get good and soft up there, well not soft, but cured enough I can pull them off without tearing them up. That's why I'm stirring it between each one. I really don't have to. I could get away without doing it. But if you try to pull them off just a hair early, it'll rip a hole in it. They'll try to stick and they'll rip a hole in it. They say you can rub, spray it down with an oil, but every time I've done that, it's gotten too slip. It's been too slippery and the plastic don't want to stay on. So I don't worry about that. I just do it a little bit slower. This actually would be 24 when I dip these for this next one here. So that's four extra. And I haven't used tubes in a while, so. But that's okay. I got this guy's lures hanging up here behind me, so the rest of his lures, so. You gotta get him doing. But he wasn't no hurry. He, this is actually gonna be used for in the summertime, I'm pretty sure. Or spring this spring and stuff, so. I do want to do because I do want to get the injectors because then the injected ones because then I can do a solid nose but that is better for flipping and well and pitching so what we call the buggy whips down there in South Florida the solid nose be better so now I'll probably use a tougher plastic for that because this, this here is a soft plastic. I'll probably at least use a medium plastic or maybe the blended that I've gotten before. I don't know. And these here, the bass order love these. They get around a hold of these. They're soft as can be. They're going to collapse and that bass is going to love it. They'll inhale them. And got some of my DCB tournament juice in it, so it's been a proven winner. So if somebody wants, I can put a niece in them. I can get it. I don't have any right now, but I've actually been thinking about getting some. Good. That's why it's called Dwayne's Custom Beats. You know, you want a niece in them, no problem. I'll get it and put it in. That stuff's so potent it doesn't take much, so. Okay. Now, many of the reasons it's going to be a three-part video, I've got to change blades out of my cutter here that I've got to do this with. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and there's that one. Okay, well, like I said, there's that big old bad boy right there. That is tall. So, okay. And I really don't know what y'all been able to see. So, I hope it's been okay. Like the video, give me a thumbs up. And as we say, they can swim, but they can't hide. Good night.